Welcome back to Win News. The official election period doesn't start until tomorrow, but the major parties continue to battle for early votes. Today, Labor announced plans for a new high school at West Dapto. The Liberal Party maintains money Labor is promising has already been spent. A day closer to the election and the announcements keep coming. This time Labor zeroed in on West Dapto. So over the next four years, an elected Foley Labor government will commence construction on a new high school out here. At a cost of $44 million, the new high school will cater to one of the fastest growing suburbs in the state. By 2031, an extra 54,000 people will live in the area. The money would come from Labor's $10 billion infrastructure fund. Money the Liberal Party says isn't there. If Labor are going to make new announcements from money that's already been allocated, they need to be honest with the people of the Illawarra and tell us which particular projects they're going to cut in order to fund new promises. Cut classes at Dapto TAFE is also in the crosshairs. Labor claims students are being turned away from the campus. The member for Shell Harbour is asking the government for clarity. Are they going to sell it after this election? Before this election, the Liberal Party is due to respond to a report that calls for the scrapping of biodiversity legislation. Labor has released its own plans for a new offsetting program that would see land cleared for development replaced with like-for-like -like vegetation elsewhere. It must result in, uh, in no net loss of biodiversity. Rob Morrison, Wind News.